Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and it's finally happening. I'm putting the road in right now to the mine, and we're gonna get mining this year. We've got a road coming up to the mine. Nice big berm here on the downhill side. And we're getting close. We just have to go up to that rock face there behind him. Well, we're just finishing up our road work here. This is where you're gonna walk out. And we're gonna have to do some more work here, but bam, we got the road and the truck. We'll be able to come right to the right to the mine portal, which will be awesome. Here comes Jason bringing up the first load of lumber to use in the mine. <laughs> now he's got to turn around. This will be fun. Oh, we made it up. It's like it was meant to be. Three point turn, everything went just perfect. Well, I'd call this the first hour of actual work at our mine. I brought up some miners to help me out. This is uh, Chad and Harry from Mine Operator. They've come up. They're gonna be here kind of intermittently throughout the season when their schedule allows. And the first part we gotta do is get the mine safe to work in. And that's gonna begin with the portals. I got a portal right here and I've got a portal right here behind me. And I'm gonna get those timbered up. And then once I get it timbered up, I can put some doors on it and store some equipment back there, keep it safe. And then we can get back into the mine. So my first job is to get all this junk out of the way. And instead of going to the store to buy timbers, that's just boring. I thought I'd go cut down some trees and build up my own. So I'm gonna show you where I got the wood from. And while you guys watch that, I'll get this cleared out. Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products. On today's video, we're gonna be taking out this big old spruce here. What happened is, is the, the top of it blew out here, about 30 or 40 feet of the top. And so it's a goner. It's not gonna live, it's gonna die and rot away. So we're gonna drop this one. But to do that, it's leaning right into this other little one here. And I don't know if you can see, but the top is out of that little one over there too. So I'm gonna to have to take both these spruce out. Now let's get this big boy out of here. We'll put it pretty much right on top of that one. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll see if I can get this, this skitter and this one log out of here. And we'll figure out how much they're worth. So to scale a log, you measure across the, the small end here. This is the small end of the log. This one is 25 inches that way. You always take the smallest dimension inside the bark. So we got 25 on this log. So let's get our scale chart out. We'll figure out how much wood's in this log. Here's our scale chart and the Numbers across the top here are the diameter in inches of the top of the tree. So we had 25 and then length and feet down the side here. So 32 and 25, that's 920 board feet in that one log. And that log's 550 a thousand. So doing the math on that, that one log's worth $506. Well, those two trees we got, I had two logs each. And when I scaled all four of those logs together, I got just over 2,100 board feet. And at right around five or 550 a thousand, that's just over a thousand bucks in those two trees. I'm gonna work on getting some of these logs up to the sawmill and we're cutting some timbers for the mine. Most of the timbers I'm gonna need are between four and six feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into 12 foot lengths, put it on the back of the truck, get it to the sawmill, and then we can cut it down into timbers. All right, well, against my better judgment, I got that whole 40 foot log up on the truck bed. I got two 12s and I ended up with two eight footers out of it. So I'll cut some nice beams and lagging out of that stuff. So Fred's out back getting the logs and he's gonna bring them over and load them on this Baker sawmill here behind us. And I'm gonna cut them into true dimension, six by six, four by fours, and then two by for lagging. And so we can get them up to the mine and do some timbering up the raises and help hold up the hanging wall. So let's see what Fred can make out of these spruce I brought up to him. Well, here's how Fred likes to unload logs. Right here in the middle of the road. He says, don't worry, I've done it before. All right, Fred, what do you think of the logs? It's dirty. It's dirty. It needs to be clean. <laughs> Is that a good log or a bad log? It's fine. <laughs> it's a fine log. You want, want me to get the wire brush and brush it a little bit or what? Something. Something. Do something, he says. I don't have a tape on me, but that's 24 inches anyway. Diameter, 12 footer. Oh, we're changing the blade already? It's dull. All right, well, I guess I gotta, I gotta get this log clean for Fred. You can figure out how many board feet is in the log. Yeah, let's scale this log. Let's see how many board feet's in here. 
So I just scaled our log here. It's 26 inches across on the small end, 12 feet long. And my log scale calculator says there's 360 board feet in this one log, which is actually quite a bit. It's no matter what Fred says, it's a pretty nice log. So we're going to cut it up into that six by six, four by fours and two by, and then I can calculate how many board feet we actually got out of the log and we'll compare. But a board foot is a one inch thick, 12 inch square of wood. That's one board foot. So there should be 360 of those in this log. Oh, what, our first blade's dull already? What yeah. We, what do we got here? How does it look? No cracks in it. It's not all cracked. It dulled already, huh? The dirt. Boy, somebody brought dirt, dirty logs. Dirt is bad. So what are we going to do? A new blade. All right. Brand new out of the box. Brand new. Now we got all that dirty junk off our cant here. It won't dull as fast. Well, this thing's pretty cool. It's run by a big diesel motor on the back there. It's got a clutch right there, and then just runs that bandsaw real fast around those two flywheels. 6,000 feet a minute. 6,000 feet a minute. Is that 100 feet a second? Something. YouTube will tell us. All right, back in business. Five minutes, change the blade or less. Well, we've whittled our log down to this. We've got a bunch of two by here. We're gonna edge a little later, cut down to a little more manageable size. Those are way too wide to handle underground. But this, what we have left over, we can get six six by sixes out of. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna whittle this down into our six by sixes and then we'll grab another log. Well, here's what we got out of that first log. We got our six true six by sixes, two two by twelves, two two by sixes, and four two by eights. And I just did the, the math on that, and we got 356 board feet, and the log scaled at 360. So that is pretty much bang on log scale to what we actually got produced out of it. This stuff over here is the waste. There's not a whole lot of it. It's great firewood. 
But here are the four jackets. Those are called flitches. A couple little pieces we took off to true up the beam for the six buys, and then all the weighing that we cut off those true two buys. So not a whole lot of waste there, but we sure to get some really nice wood out of that. So we'll keep going, cut up some more logs, and I'll show you the pile when we're all done. Well, here's a quick rundown of what we cut today. A bunch of lag in there. Nice two by sixes, two by eights, and two by twelves. We got some six by, some four by. And over here, this is our last log with a bunch of six and four by. Well, now let's get started on our portal here. I'm going to do a little bit of a modified cap and post situation here. I've got a real nice hitch right in here, and I've got a nice hitch here. So I'm going to start by just wedging a 4x4 right across here, and then I'll work on bringing the posts up underneath, and we'll have to fill in this hole here to seal it all off. These battery-powered tools are going to revolutionize the gold mining industry for me because you can take them underground, they don't have any emissions, the batteries last a long time. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different tools I'm going to use. And when I was doing that back 15 years ago, we had air saws, hand saws for tight spots. It was just a real pain. So this is going to make my job a whole lot easier. Oh, that thing's amazing. It's so much faster than by hand. Yeah, now you can get a couple wedges right here in the back of this one. And it'll tighten that right up. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's a little wedge I cut off. And you get that wedge in there nice and tight. Now you're going to put another longer wedge. From the outside looking in here, we got our wedge both sides. That's the one you, I showed you. And then over here. And of course, the wedges break and stuff, but you just drive them in where you can. And nice and hard now. So now we got a little wooden spot we can build off of here. Well, I've actually changed my mind. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to bring some 2x4s up, screw it into this header on each side, wing one out across the bottom, and then I can get this thing plywooded up and closed. There's really nothing I need to support here. It's all good ground, nice solid stuff. I just need to block it off. So it'll go faster, cheaper, and I'll get our job done. We can move on to something else. So now I've got it all tied in on the bottom. I've run out of wood, so I'll have to go back and get some more wood, but that's as far as we can get on that project today. So let's go and take a look at the next one. Well, here's our other portal. This is the one that we're gonna be actively using. And I don't know if you can tell, but it just kind of drops off here in front, right down like that. But right over there is the truck. So what I wanna do is make a little deck out here and once I get the deck out here, then we can start accessing the truck a whole lot easier. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some uprights, lag them into this rock here, and bring the deck out this way and attach them to those uprights. And that way we can access the truck from over that way. I got to get this mucked out a little bit, and I got to cut up this steel pipe and get that out of there so I can wedge some wood across there and have something to tie our lagging to. <laughs> oh, all that work and I broke at the joint. Let's go outside and cut the rest off so it's out of our way. We got our iron pipe out of here, so now let's muck this stuff out, figure out what we can tie to on good solid rock, and go from there.
Well, here's my plan now. I've got this hammer drill with a 3 16 bit on it and a quarter inch concrete anchor. So now I can drill a hole into the rock, drill this through the two by four and anchor it into the rock. So I put this little ladder in here so you can access it right off the, the truck landing here. You walk up, you get a nice platform here, and there's back into the mine. So tomorrow I'll work on the portal, but now it's time for a little rest. I've already started work on the next morning. I got our first portal finished off there. Got it all closed up so no one's going to wander in there. And I've worked a little bit more on our deck here. Added some additional handrail, some stuff like that, cross pieces down here. Well, I'm a little bit limited on what I can get in the shot here. But my plan is to run two posts, one up there, one over here somewhere, straight up and run a cap across the two of them. So I'll try and get the camera set up so you can see what I'm doing. I've got everything kind of fit in there and I'm going to wedge down from the top on both sides so that'll just tighten everything up just squeeze everything vertical and then we'll have a nice good foundation to build off of here. There we go, now I got a spreader bar for my posts. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but they're tweaked in just a little bit. Now I'll get some screws in here, and this will hold them apart so they don't just collapse if they get some pressure on them. I've got some little pieces wedged up against the back there, and now I'm just scabbing on pieces to seal up the edges. And now I'll work on the door. Well, we did it. We got it all boarded up. I don't have any hinges with me, so I'll have to come back and make some doors another day. But we are all sealed up, both portals, that one and that one over there. So mission accomplished. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. We've got all of our timber work on the outside of the mine finished up, but stay tuned because I've got a lot more work I gotta do inside. I gotta do a bunch of timber sets inside. I gotta timber up a raise, and I gotta get up to the stope so we can start mining. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to support us directly, you can check out our Patreon page. I'll put a link down in the description below. And that will help us keep small scale mining alive in the USA. I'm trying to get this back going, trying to educate people and show everybody what to do and, and what not to do. So again, thanks for all your support and we'll see you on the next video.